Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I'm going to be doing a tutorial with you guys in this video uh, and it's making crepe paper bows and these are the crepe paper uh, rolls that I used. I did purchase these crepe paper to make those rosettes but I'm still trying to get the hang of trying to get that circle shape rosettes and I'm still trying to uh, get it right. So instead I decided to try something else and I made some really cute bows which I'm going to show you shortly and two different ways you can make the bows as well but these are the uh, rolls that I've got here which I purchased from my local discount store here in Sydney um, you can get these also from party supply stores so these two here I used this one here the width of the crepe paper that you want to have to make the same size bows that I have uh, this one here is uh, one and three quarter inch wide and this one here is two inch wide so it doesn't really matter with these two sizes they still worked um, there's only a slight difference in the width but um, these are the two width sizes that I made my bows and I'll just show you the ones that I made and then and the two different ways so these are the finished bows when you put them together how adorable do they look and it's just a, a really great size for me you can obviously make them bigger uh, and thicker if you like a wider as well um, obviously using a wider a crepe paper but this one is a uh, perfect for me and these would be great to add to any of your projects you could also add these to your gift wrapping or your packaging to decorate your packaging uh, you can also add these to your bag toppers as well and just a great way to finish off any projects so this is the one way you can have your bow the other way is this way here you can see there's a slight difference this one is a little bit more ruffled up whereas this one here is just sort of like a neat finished bow so I'm going to show these two different ways you can make the bows this way and I just place my bow on uh, these file folders that I've also made so this is one of them and this one here was uh, with the just the neater finish bow and these are the file folders that I've made and the measurements for these file folders are from the top of the file tab to the bottom here it's about three and a quarter inch by four inches and it's just a great way to add some goodies in here or you want to write a note you can add this into your um, as a page insert in your mini file folders you could also glue the edges here and then make it into a little mini file folder pocket to add some more goodies so that's just one of the ways I place the bow and then this is the other way with the ruffled look so I'll just place it here and I think it still looks really cute and again this is the same it's just another file folder and I've got in here a 3x4 style journaling card that's double sided and I placed a tab die shape up here to give it that file, um, file paper look and I've just got that in there and I think that looks really cute uh, so these file folders, I do have these in my store. Uh, you get a random pack of four file folders, which are, um, you get a random pack of four of these. Uh, so again, the measurements from the top to the bottom here is three and a quarter inches approximately by four inches. So if you want to head over to my store, you can have a look at those. And these are three by four journaling cards. I will have them in my store as well and you get a random pack of four of those with a random pack of four of these tab shaped dies as well so you can make your own little little file cards and they are all come double sided and then what you can do with your tabs you can um, you just place a bit of glue on both sides and you can either have your uh, tab up here if you like you can have it here in the middle or over here so you have your option of where you like to put your tabs or you can use them on other projects but um, yeah, you'll get a random four double-sided 
three by four uh, journaling card style cards and a random four of these tab shaped dies and I will try and um, give you really nice pretty ones as well in the pack so I'll have them in my store now to make the bows I'm just going to grab everything here so what you're going to need are you're going to need a strip of your crepe paper and you want to cut it at about 11 inches wide or 28 centimeters wide and then you want to cut another piece um, about one and three quarters to two inches wide as well and you're going to need a piece of uh, just a good sturdy cardstock and you want to cut it at two inches wide that's your template to make the bow and some liquid glue and your scissors so I'm just going to get everything together to show you all right so what we're going to do here you're going to grab your crepe paper and your um, card and then you're going to place your end of your crepe paper to your card and you're going to wind it around once so it's once then twice three four and five so it should wrap around five times and then we just take that out and then you have this little piece hanging out off there and you're going to cut that off if you want to make an exact measurement it's about ten and a half inches but I like to give that little extra length just in case all right so now you've got all that done you want to make sure you have the opening part on the top and the bottom we're going to now fold it over in half and just gently press the fold down and then on one half of that fold you're going to bring this up about halfway to where that fold was and then you're going to bring that bit down so that the folds meet with the first fold go to this over this way you're going to grab this part here now and do the same thing by folding that up so that that fold will meet that middle fold and then bring just move that, and then bring that down so that now you have three folds okay so just press that down gently we're just going to turn that under this way now and just grab some of your liquid glue some good strong glue we're going to in that middle valley fold we're just going to apply a little drop of glue in the middle just like that and then just press it that's just to hold uh, the, the folds together oh sorry before we do that I'll just hold that down uh, that little piece here that we've got here you want to have that ready first in hand so we're just going to fold that over about one eighth of an inch not too wide and then you want I'm just going to fold it over about three to four times so that's two and three so that's enough and then I'm just going to trim off that little bit and then just bring that over and just give it a good press and nice and flat so once you've got that just put that to the side because that's going to be the the band that wraps around the center all right so you've got that glue there now we're just going to put a little bit more glue just on the top here in the middle and grab that little piece of strip that we've just folded and you want to place that on the top and you want to hope that it sits there and once it's just sitting there I just place a little bit more glue just a little drop just on the top on the edge 
this is a little bit of the fiddly part but it's if you've got a bit of patience it'll work and now you're just going to wrap this around nice and as tight and as firm as you can without pulling too much strength on the strip otherwise you'll rip your crepe paper and then just join it where you apply that glue on the end and just hold on to it and that should sit there and now once you've got that there you're just going to trim off that excess bit of strip just and that really completes your bow and then you just open that up and there's your cute little bow and you just sort of fan it out and there is your nice cute little bow all done so that's how you make these bow now to make it so that it has this nice ruffled look all you're going to do here grab your scissors And then on the edge here, you're just going to trim off just, just a little bit, just like that. And that will separate all of those um, the paper. I'm just going to trim around. So you have that. I'm just going to even that up a bit. And then you just individually peel off each of your layered crepe paper one by one really gently because your crepe paper is quite thin and you don't want to rip it so again you just individually peel them off one by one this last one here just so you've got an idea in how to do it and you just do the same to the other side and then once you've got them all separated you sort of just play around with it until you get it to the ruffle shape that you like so you do the same to this side And once you've got all that and it's just ready for you to um, put aside and make some more and you'll have a whole heap of these ready on hand so there is um, your ruffled bow which looks like this once you sort of have them all separated and have it nicely like that and that is just how I've done my bows so you can have it both ways like that and you can just press it down if you want to flatten it but um, I did make a whole heap of these I'm going to have these in my store as well for those that don't have the time to make it or um, you'd rather have them already ready made um, you will get a random pack of six or eight I'm not too sure in a pack a random colors um, if you have specific colours from what I have on, on my listing, you can um, also just uh, let me know which colours you prefer in the pack. So I thought I'd share with you these fun tutorial on how to make these really fun prep paper bows for your projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll put all of the links to my um, uh, Instagram and also my Etsy store down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!